Biotech investing myth number two. It takes 10 years and a billion dollars to get a drug approved, right? Wrong. Okay, let's address these points one by one, starting with the 10 years part. Now, first of all, a lot of these studies that suggest that it takes 10 plus years to get a drug approved include the time that was spent in the academic lab of the person who did the research that ended up leading to the creation of the company that was trying to commercialize the drug. And so that tacks a few years onto that time estimate. It also calculates the estimate all the way until drug approval. And it turns out that that's not actually the thing that you should care about as an investor. The thing that's important is how long does it take for me as an investor to get my money back? And here's a critical thing that you need to understand. Most biotech companies either IPO or get acquired long before the drug actually gets approved. Usually, the capital markets want to grab the company as soon as it has some sort of proof of concept data on their primary drug candidate. We actually did our own analysis with PitchBook, and we looked at every single biotech company that IPO'd for the last decade, and we calculated how long it took from the company's inception to the time of its IPO. And it turned out that the median time was six years from inception to IPO, with the average being eight years, which is pretty much on par with the tech industry or other industries that venture capital folks might want to invest in. So I don't think you can really say that it takes so much longer to get your money back in biotech than in other industries. Now let's address the $1 billion part. The studies that have calculated these figures include the costs of all failed attempts at getting drugs approved. So these are studies that are looking at it from a sort of global economics perspective, or at least a country level economics perspective. How much money does private industry collectively have to spend to get a drug approved? But if you look at it on an individual company basis, the number is much lower. There was a recent RAND report that put the estimates somewhere between $150 to $300 million. So certainly not chump change, but not far off from what other companies in other verticals raise before going public or getting acquired. So right there, does it take 10 years to get a drug approved? No, usually six to eight to, for the, there actually to be a liquidity event for the investors. And point number two, it really doesn't take a billion dollars to get a drug approved if you're looking at it on a company level basis.